everyone and welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make kichri and kadi. Basically kichri and kadi is an Indian um, comfort food. It's made from rice and um, uh, the kichri is made from rice and split bean um, beans and then the kadi is made from chickpea flour and yogurt with lots of spices. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what we're going to need. So we're starting um, with making the kichri first. And um, I just wanted to show you that these are the split mung dal here. And this is what they look like. So basically, you know, the whole mung dal are these are the split ones. So I used one cup of this and two cups of rice. I washed it last night and I soaked it in water and I have a, um, a saucepan here that I have put about five cups of water and it's boiling. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, mixture for the rice and the mung dal in there. And I'm just going to put some olive oil in here at first. And then once it's completely done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna smack it with some butter, some salted butter. So that's all we do for the kitchen. So we're just gonna leave this alone. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir here to get everything nicely incorporated. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and we're just gonna make sure that it doesn't overflow on us. So we're just gonna leave this alone for about, uh, since I've um, soaked it overnight, it shouldn't take you know more than 15 to 18 minutes. So while that's, um, that's getting done, let me show you what we're gonna need um, to make the kadi. Now the kadi is, uh, again, you know, it's a, um, a yogurt curry that uh, we eat and it's it's very much of an Indian comfort food. So uh, basic ingredients, not much to do, but let's get started. So here, what we're gonna do need here is, let me show you all the spices first. We have some uh, mustard seeds, we have some curry leaves, we have some turmeric, I have some sugar, and I have some cayenne pepper. And then we're also going to be using um, chickpea flour and I have two tablespoons of chickpea flour. I have some citric acid in there. We're going to be using about two cups, uh, one and a half to two cups of yogurt. But we're going to be making this thinner with the water. Some ginger and garlic and that's about it. So first Let's go ahead and um, get our yogurt done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the yogurt in a container here. And by thinning it out with water, it, it makes it easier to cook and it won't curdle on you either. So, okay. Right. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add my chickpea flour. Okay. Now, I'm going to give it a good mix and make sure that there is no lumps in there at all. You won't believe it, but my it's an absolute favorite dish at my house. My kids love this dish. So see, if you do it this way, there is absolutely no lumps in there absolutely no lumps which is perfect all right now we're just gonna water it down about a cup and a half and the reason we put the chickpea flour in there is that it's gonna help it get thicker once we start cooking it I'm just getting everything ready here So now let's get started with our um, uh, for with the wagar for the kadi. 
So I'm gonna get the um, wagar done for the um, gadi here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. And we're just gonna wait until that warms up just a little bit. And this is what's gonna happen to your gadi. It, you know, it might overflow, so just be careful. Um, you keep a close, or the kitri, so keep a close eye on it. And now I'm not gonna cover it all the way, I'm just gonna cover it, you know, halfway and let it just boil away. So while this is getting hot, I'm gonna go grab a spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our mustard seeds in here. And we'll let that pop. Okay. And if you wanna just walk over here and just while the mustard seeds are getting hot, just, you know, this is how it's going to look when you keep it half open. Um, it's just, it's just really, really um, boiling away and that's exactly how you want it. So you want that extra liquid in there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead to the um, wagar here, which is getting nice. There we go. Got the pop. I had the must of the... Uh, curry leaves in there, ginger and garlic, and I usually like to fry the ginger and garlic in um, the curry. It just gives it a really nice taste. Okay. That's perfect. I'm just gonna let this cook just a little bit more. Add the cayenne. Add our sugar because I really want it to kind of caramelize in there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add our yogurt and chickpea mixture. Look at how it really became really nice and creamy. There was absolutely no lumps in there at all. I'm just going to add a little bit of water in here because I think we should be okay with a little bit more water in there, so. It should thicken up really well. Now to this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add our turmeric. And again, turmeric is basically how dark you want your gadi. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some citric acid just to add a little bit of um, tart to it because we got that sugar in there so we're gonna balance the flavors. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more turmeric in there. You don't want it really yellow but then you don't also don't want it really pale either, so. Okay, now we're gonna add some salt in here. And at this point, it would be great to do a taste test. And you just wanna stir it while you can, and it's gonna get really nice and just like, um, um, it's not as thick as a white sauce, a little bit runny, you know, more like, you know, this is perfect because my kids don't like it when it's too thick and grainy. This is just perfect. So I'm going to give it a quick taste test and see if all the flavors are in there. Now, when I tasted it, it tastes really, really good but I can still taste the grain in there. And what the grain is when you taste it, it's actually the chickpea flour that is not cooked yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, stir this really well. Keep on stirring it just a little bit longer. 
and um, make sure that the chickpea flour is cooked through. And basically we are done. So maybe another two minutes on the stove for the kadi. And we're done making the kadi. And then um, the, right, the kitri is still working here, but not much to go for um, the kitri. I think it's almost done. You can see that you know the, the peas have kind of um, split completely from the skin and the rice are is really long and grainy so long the long grains so it is cooked I just want the water to evaporate a little bit then we're gonna come back we're gonna beat it and then we're gonna add the butter in it and believe it or not dinner is ready so here we go this is how your pantry is supposed to look like I just lowered the flame just a little bit. I'm gonna start it up again. But see how all the water just kind of um, disappeared, but there's still a little bit of liquid in there, which is perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna beat it. And the reason we're gonna beat it is so that we can mush the rice, like so. So see how it just kind of came together? It's such a great comfort food. All right, so to this we have, now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut up some butter slices. And it depends how much butter you wanna add in there. If you don't wanna add too much butter, that's fine. But I just, um, it's a comfort food and we really haven't added anything else in there. So I like to add the butter. It just gives it a really nice, rich taste. All right, and the other thing we need is our salt. Oh, right here, lost my salt. Okay, so we're just gonna add some salt in there just to season it, because remember, we never added salt in the beginning. Okay, this should be good, and the butter is salted too, so I think it should be just great. Now, if you have somebody or yourself that are have dairy problems like if you can't eat dairy foods and you don't eat butter then go ahead and may um, add the little bit of the ghee inside and it really tastes really really good so make sure you watch my episode on how to make um, ghee um, which is clarified butter at home so this is basically done I'm quickly going to do a taste test um, to make sure we've got enough salt and uh, um, there's enough butter in there. Mmm, so hot. But so good. Again, could be because I can't have it. But just a little bit more salt. <clears throat> ahead and plate this. Turn this off. Let's go ahead and plate this. And I always make a lot because my kids absolutely enjoy this dish and it's great. It's great for leftovers. Absolutely great for leftovers. So we've got the kitchen that's already cooked. And we also have the kadhi, which is the Indian curry made from yogurt, also cooked. So I'm gonna put that all here. So let's go ahead and plate that too. Now all we need is to grab a plate and although I can't have very much of it, I will just do a little taste test for you. And this kind of um, is nice, works well with me because this way I can cheat a little bit. All right. And while you're serving, if you like, you can just add a little bit of the butter right on top 
just like so. Look at how fantastic that looks. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it from the pot here just because I don't want to spoil that. So like I said, I can't have too much, so I'm just adding a little bit of it in my bowl here. And a little bit of the kadi. And guys, watch this recipe too. It's up there. Um, it's a little bit of the condiments that you can have next to any um, dish, any curry or any pilau or any. I have lots of dishes like the pigeon pea uh, pilaf on there. It would be perfect with that too. Okay. okay so I'll use this spoon. So I got some of the kitchri, I got some of the kadi, and I got some of my onions from the, um, oh, mm. I tell you, it is yummy, so good, mm. and you know, The chutney that I made here, it gives it such a fresh and um, it's so tasty with it. Just um, gives that crunch in your mouth, it gives that texture. Mm. I'm sorry guys, it's absolutely delicious. So kids out there that don't like <coughs> eating kitchen and curry, Watch this episode, tell your mom and mom to watch this episode and make it because it's not only healthy, but it's actually a really great, delicious dish. So on that note, thank you for joining me on this episode of Hannah's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great recipe. See you then, friends.